Yes, I just got a little piece of gold. That's definitely going to be gold, as goldy as it is. Second piece of gold. Oh my goodness, that is a beautiful stone. That's heavy. It's awfully goldy looking. I really don't have a light. That might be gold. But I got a pendant. All right, I got one last piece of gold. Hi guys, I am back to metal detecting the beach today. It's just after work. All right. Maybe a dime here or another copper penny. Sorry guys. All right, got my first dime. Okay, got a high tone right here. 97. Staying pretty solid, 97. Don't hear any grunts. Really high tone. Now I'm hearing the grunts, so. Maybe tent stake, sharp iron, the thing that Knox loves the most. No, that's a super high tone out of the hole. Alright, got it. Quiet there. See anything? Ah, there's a quarter right there. All I need is a nickel to hit the cycle. Okay, out of that hole, sounded horrible. Threw it out here, sounded great. And now look, something shiny like gold. Right there. Yes, I just got a little piece of gold. That's definitely going to be gold, as goldy as it is. Very, very nice. I can't read it. I think it's got somebody's name. Alright, sweet. I got gold. Give me a really low tone. 19 to 20. Kind of sounds a little bit iron-esque. Nice and low tony again. Pretty loud. In the scoop. Ah. What did you do Oh, sweet. Yeah, it's going to be a cross. Alright, we'll have to take a closer look at that when I get it all cleaned up. Alright, another piece of jewelry. That's great. And then I heard a high tone somewhere up here when I dumped. That's got a lot of iron sound to it. Oop, hold on, what was that? Oh, be good to Jim. Oh my goodness, be good to Jim. Out already? That's not going to be good to Jim. Sounds fantastic, but I don't see anything fantastic. Oh! That uh, might be cold. That I think that is uh, from a watch, just really worn down. See that? That possibly could be gold. We'll have to test it. This is fantastic. This little spot's been producing like crazy. 
Okay, out of that hole, I threw it up here, threw it up here, separated it, and look, Goldie's sticking out again. Second piece of gold. Oh my goodness, that is a beautiful stone. I'm loving seeing this gold right now. Yes, I love it. So my second piece of gold, possibly third piece of gold. Look at that, all in this little area right here. I got a high tone amongst it now. It's just easier to clear it out. Now, I think it's going to be a dime probably. What was that? Another target right there. what I love about uh, collection spots. I just out of that hole right there is a little piece of iron and then I threw it out here and then found a high tone right above it. Super high tone. Maybe a quarter. Yep, there we go. Still need a nickel to hit the cycle. You see that? There you go. That's solid mid-tone. Like bottle tabby. I mean, uh, pool tabby. Give me some iron grunts now. Look at all those layers of black sand in there. does not sound good out of the hole but there is a nickel I hit the cycle so like I said just a little bit of black sand over anything is masking the targets here remember it's magnetic black sand okay I got another low tone surrounded by a bunch of high tones it's probably sharp iron so it's really driving me nuts So I'm hoping this is a good one for Jim. Sounds like a lot of iron now. I see any gold sticking out. I see green now. What the heck is that thing? I do see some gold sticking out. Oh my goodness. All right, something goldy. Wow, okay, probably 10 carat. Broken up earring maybe. Okay, this is a really high tone. I'm not sure what I was thinking. Would that be a smashed ring? I originally thought it was one of those uh, hooks. But yeah, could be a smashed ring, I don't know. It would be nice to have a piece of silver and it's got that silver look to it. I, I am going to be filling these holes in now because I'm going to be slowly working my way back through there. Hey, I got a... Uh, yeah. It's going to be a wire ring. All right. Very, very nice. I do believe that probably will be silver because it did come off as a high tone. Super high tone here. Right next to the hole that I dug that ring at. So 
sun is starting to creep down a little bit and it's starting to get ice cold out here for Jim. Oh my goodness. And another ring, a little toe ring. But uh, that super deep too. And it sounded like a mid-tone. Looks like maybe a heart. Don't we see some stones? Oh yeah, it is. A, it's a little heart pendant. Okay. Well, that's going to be a piece of silver for sure. All right, maybe one last more. One, one last target. I am tired. Doesn't sound that good anymore. It's just so many darn targets. I can't find a spot. All right, what is that thing? Oh, did I just get another piece of gold? All right, right when my battery goes dead. That's heavy. It's awfully goldy looking. I really don't have a light. That might be gold, but I got a pendant. All right. <laughs> Possibly five pieces of gold. All right, it's gonna get dark. Okay, this has got to be for sure my last target because I'm freezing. Sounds just like a nickel. 26, 27. So many darn targets in this area. I don't want to leave, but I also don't need to get sick again. All right, I got one last piece of gold, a broken glass ring. Nice. <laughs> I don't want to stop, man. It's so good, but I got to get out of here. Here's the wrap up. I was only out there for a couple hours after work, but I dug quite a bit of garbage and removed it from the beach. A lot of them, little tiny targets. Very little tiny targets. But I was really well rewarded. I got three quarters. Nine dimes, but one of them is folded over like a taco. Three nickels, hitting the cycle at least three times. Eight copper pennies. A couple of zinc pennies. But take a look at this good stuff. But all this up here, I don't, this doesn't belong with the silver. I don't think this is silver at all. But it is a cross. It looks like a cross. Okay, I'll have to take a closer look at that when I get it all cleaned up. But I do believe all these are silver up there. I do believe this is a smashed silver ring. And this is the Nike symbol. I couldn't tell what it was when I found it, but it's a little piece of silver Nike symbol. So one two three four five pieces of silver this is a beautiful little silver pendant a beautiful toe ring and a little silver wire ring but look at all that guys you wouldn't think this was gold but i don't know if you guys saw this at all but i did acid test it it does test as 10k uh, i have found a lot of gold it's very heavy for what it is i do believe it is formerly a part of a watch this is one of the last finds of the day. It's a broken, probably 10 karat gold class ring. Most of these always test as 10K. Um, I did test this one. This also tests as 10K. It is a gold pendant. I think I showed you guys that live. I'm going to have to get that all cleaned up. I also tested this piece of gold. It's actually really heavy for what it is. All right, it also tested as 10 karat. Boy, that looks nice and goldy. Nice little scratch on there, huh? This scratch goes with this piece. This scratch goes with this piece. This scratch goes with this piece. And this scratch goes with this piece. And we'll just test it with this 10 carat. All this test is gold. It's just starting to fade a little bit over here. But I'm thinking that's probably going to be 9 carat gold. 
And these two pieces right here, this is the first piece of gold I found. This is stamped 14K. And this is also stamped 14K and it's got a beautiful blue stone. So once again, I got a nice little handful of gold. I got a little bit of silver. I really love being able to have days like that just going out for a couple hours after work. Haley says it's time to select the winner of last week's Would You Dig It? Get her. I'm having a hard time keeping up with her. Wow, it's good to see. It is definitely good to see. A little rainy morning, but it's still beautiful out here. I have another Would You Dig It contest giveaway for a $25 Amazon gift card right here. I'm going to turn the speaker for the my earphones off. I'm in beach two, all metal mode. I just dug a little tiny piece of gold too. So hopefully this is a good target. dig it comment below what you think it is and you'll have a chance to win a $25 Amazon gift card that we will select the winner in next Thursday's video okay guys one more time let's dig this on up Okay, now it's time to select the winner of last week's Would You Dig It? And I'm going to my TubeBuddy app. I'm selecting Pick a Winner. Comment must contain the words. Penny. Let's pick that winner. Cheryl Rose. A copper penny. Well, Cheryl Rose, that is a perfect answer. Send me an email. You can find that in the About Me section of my channel page. And I will send you out your $25 Amazon gift card. And guys, don't get discouraged. You know I have another Would You Dig It happening right now. So let's take a look at this one. Okay, guys, we're going to make this a Would You Dig It. I'm going to shut my earphones off for a $25 Amazon gift card. Would You Dig It. go 90 degrees would you dig it if you would dig it comment below what you think it is and you'll have a chance to win a $25 Amazon gift card that we will select the winner in next Thursday's video okay guys one more time all right let's dig this one on up would you dig it? I dug it. Would you dig it? And if you would dig it, comment below what you think it is, and you'll have a chance to win a $25 Amazon gift card that we will select the winner in next Thursday's video. And guys, if you like this video, please click like. If you'd like to see more, consider subscribing, ringing this bell, and receive all the notifications every time I release a new video. And please take a look at this video right here.